All right, another day, another episode. Come here, little mites. Let's go. And let's go. And Looks like up ahead. Parry. Well, I think that was it. That's all I needed. And I shall repair my aphid slippers. Cook my aphid. Onward to adventure. So they don't ever disclose just how small and insignificant you are in the beginning of the game. They're just like, oh, hey, we're just going to throw you in. Good luck. But I guess that is the premise for all survival games, isn't it? Water. That was refreshing. Get some thistles. Gotta get some thistles. <gasps> Maybe build a shovel to get some grubs and make a canteen. You know what? I want revenge. I want revenge. Come at me. Oh wait, you guys are resistant to stabbing. And a one, two, three. Oh, you're stunned. You're stunned. No, I will have my revenge. Parry master, let's go! Let's go! Oh shit. Yes! That's my first kill. Let's go! Flower petals. Ladybug. I think I just redeemed myself, is all I'm saying. Get some thistles. Jumping up. Ah, it's 30. That'd be fine. I suck at range anyway, it's not like I'm gonna be using it to actually kill things. Just gonna equip this. Wait, I am recording, right? Yeah, I am. Okay, cool. I would have cried if it wasn't. I'm learning from my mistakes. <coughs> what? Speaking of small and insignificant, let's uh, let's talk about a cosmic address. So we live on Earth. We all know this. Earth being one of the eight planets, you know, in the solar system, with the solar system being next on our cosmic address. And then after our solar system that lies within the Milky Way, we have the Milky Way. And in the Milky Way contains around 200 billion stars, and around 200 billion stars each have, uh, most of them having. Why is there an ant? <gasps> Okay, I was like, hold on, let me get, let me get my stamina. <laughs> oh, and annihilator. Yes, yes, yes. Why am I up here? I don't need to be up here. I need to analyze. That's enough. All right. I told you I sucked at this. Wow, wow. Part of me wants to feel ashamed, but I refuse. What is wrong with my voice? Must have not gotten enough sleep. That or I went too hard at the gym today. We don't know. If I go this way, I'm probably gonna die. And it's gonna be... Oh. It's not gonna be alright. But I have a shovel and I'm gonna get some clay. Hello, free food. Aw, oh, you little... You know what? You don't get to leave. If I destroy this, you know what? You played your game. Oh, I never noticed that. It like wears down as it gets destroyed. That's so cool. I never noticed that. Ooh, so much might fuzz. So much might fuzz. Ooh, 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 I know where I'm at. Hello. Whoa. Ooh, 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 so tempting. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Gotta get some sleep. What was I saying earlier? Oh yeah, the Milky Way. The Milky Way containing around 200 billion stars. Most stars containing even, you know, at least one planet. So if that puts it in perspective. And the Milky Way being approximately 100,000 light years in diameter. Ooh, and, and, each galaxy contains, well, most galaxies contain a supermassive black hole at the center. Don't know why, but that's also a fascinating fact. I uh, need water. I need water. I have already lost an arrow. Oh well. Should probably make another spear. Onward to adventure. There's a stink bug in the area. Don't know where it's at. I don't know why I'm just making really, really bad jingles all of a sudden. I'm so sorry. What? What just happened? Ah, oh my god. 
get some more clay, get some more clay. I'm gonna go this way. And hopefully I don't run into any mosquitoes at the, while I'm at it. Because I need water. So, so water. And there's no mosquitoes out here. Again, I apologize for the really bad jingles that's in my head. Where be my water? Yo. You give water. Okay, fine. Be like that. Um, going to the hedge. Yeah. Going to the hedge. Yeah. Getting damage. Yeah. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. You know what? Nah, I'll wait. Ah, yes. So. Come on. I never noticed they jumped. You gonna you gonna come hither? Come hither. Ah yes, the Milky Way. It is a beautiful thing. But the Milky Way is only part of a larger structure. And we call that the logo group. Mm. Mm. I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> I really hope I can finish the hedge lab in this in this episode. I really want to just get it out of the way. It opens up more opportunities. I forget how much these guys really pack a punch. It's almost a little unfair and stupid. Red, red raisins. <laughs> but I don't red, miss. red wine. How do I not have any sprigs? Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna speed run. Speed run. Speed run. Early test runs on the zip line system have produced mixed results. Prices on steel came in last year. A finer thread. Web samples from yet another I told them Okay, all right, I know how to play this. Oh, my first death. Okay. I'm pretty sure my fit slippers broke, so I have to take my sweet, sweet time. Oh no. It is so close to me. All right, here's what we're going to do. So, as I'm on my way to my next objective, we're gonna... I keep getting interrupted, or I keep getting distracted. It's either one. It's either one, honestly. Yes, the Milky Way is part of a much larger structure, and we call that the local group, which contains around 50, 50 different galaxies, with Andro Andromeda being the largest of them all. And with that being said, did you know that Andromeda is actually on a collision course with the Milky Way? Now, that's not supposed to happen until another 5 billion years or something no, like that. What? That thing just yeeted! Just yeeted all the way across like a soccer ball. Look, it's still going! <laughs> Yo, the physics of this game is absolutely incredible. <laughs> it's either super accurate or super hilarious. Do, 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 do. Anyways, this larger structure is actually a part of what's called the local group. Now, the local group. I'm pretty sure I just said this. Yeah, over 50 galaxies. I definitely just said that. <laughs> and the local group is even part of a much, much, much larger structure. And we call that the Virgo Supercluster, which contains hundreds, hundreds of galaxies. And again, each one of those galaxies containing hundreds of billions of stars. And each one of them at having at least one planet revolving around it. So many noises. I'm not saying we're small and insignificant, but come on. Like, you gotta, you gotta think about it. Now it doesn't really change, you know, it shouldn't change one's mind when it comes to like, you know, 
how you should feel about the universe, but it's it, you should you should be humbled by it because you know I am, I most definitely am. And what's really great about it is, in general, I have a better weapon. Now it's not as good as the other weapon that I'm that I'm hoping to make, but you know, it it's a lot better than my spear and my axe. That's oh, that's for sure. Anyways, I'm gonna take the long way around. I shall see you then. Come on, little junior. Let's see what this damage does. Look at that stun. Come on. I'm just gonna keep walking backwards, because I don't want to get surprised by another one of you, and then I end up dying again. Your life is so much easier when you know how to perfect fairy. It is. It really is. It just makes life so much easier. Yes, yeah, so the Virgo sloop the Virgo supercluster containing hundreds of galaxies. Um also is about what ten I think it's like around ten million light years in diameter. Which is super fun <laughs> excuse me. It's super crazy to think about uh how how large how large the universe, you know, is. I haven't even gotten to the, to the last one. Uh, the Lanakia, or Lanakia, I'm pretty sure I but butchered both sides of that word. System contains everything. Contains everything that I just said. So, the name, it actually means unmeasurable heaven, meaning we don't actually know how large it really is. And what's really cool about it is that I need to make a bed soon. What's absolutely massive about it is that it is approximately a hundred thousand. I got my numbers mixed up. That really just puts it in perspective. And there's my arrow. And then of course, after the Lenakia system, we have our universe, which is continuously expanding. And it's expanding at an accelerated rate. The universe is about 13.8 billion years old, but know that the observable universe is about 93 billion years in diameter. Now let's think about that for a second as I cook my food. So while the universe is 13.8 8, <laughs> 8 billion years old, the light the light from some of the most distant objects we can observe has been traveling towards us for nearly the entire age of the universe. What this means is uh, we can observe objects that are currently located farther away from us than the distance that light could have traveled due, due, to, the ex due to the expansion of the universe. So basically, the universe is expanding faster than light can travel. <laughs> So just know that nothing within the universe can actually travel faster than light. That doesn't really pertain to the fabric of space-time itself. The expansion of the universe is not limited to the laws of physics at, as it is the fabric of space-time itself that is expanding. So yeah, I'm gonna go find an aphid so I can repair my slippers. Yeah, so I was gonna do the hedge lab today, but that's obviously not gonna work out. <sighs> So, I have a backpack just waiting for me. Where? Oh, oh, necessities. Oh, of course, necessities. There we go. You know, all in all, I've killed two juniors today. So, I'm, I'm pretty happy with myself. This is my first time playing survival on my own. Although, it does help having another person who can play range. Because I suck at range. I usually have friends for that. Unfortunately, I have no friends for that as of right now. But I'm hoping to hoping to improve myself. Maybe I'll learn something while, you know, playing survival on my own. We shall see. I, like all humans, must learn to adapt. Did I really use it? Oh, my might fuzz was on my person! <sighs> okay. I was definitely in my bad on my part. At least these have spawned. Oh, hello. Oh, that double parry! I mean, they're might, so it's not really that exciting to watch, but it's exciting for me. Okay. <laughs> Actually, probably in all my time playing this game, I've never gotten a double parry like that, so yeah. Okay, guys. This is probably gonna be a shorter episode, uh, so I'm gonna go do something. Actually, I changed my mind. I'll do that later. Let's see if I can't get better gear. Oh, 
Okay, I just needed the parts. I just needed the parts. If I die from ants, I die from ants. Ah, uh, I died from ants. <laughs> <laughs> wow, two deaths in a video. This is not this. I am not used to this. I didn't get any acid glands from that, so I'm a little sad. I need two mandibles. Okay. All right. Now uh, let's go see. As long as I can get the mandibles, it'll be perfectly fine. <laughs> And boom. Okay, cool. Now I have acid glands. That is awesome. Because that's what I need to make the ant armor. And boom. Yes. Okay. I can get rid of the one in my inventory. Because this does a lot more damage. Oh, yeah. There it is. Now I know the acorn armor is a lot better, but I'm using the ant armor... For now. I'm probably going to regret it. And I probably will switch over again soon. But for now, this is what I have. And it helps because I really like building, so ant armor is kind of a necessity for me. It's not much, but it's something. Oh, cherry! I really hate that these spiders really like to back up. You are fucking with me. Oh, and there's the poison. I'm gonna die of poison. Yep, and... There I go. You! Ugh. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's just the poison. And I went in with no food, no nothing. <laughs> with my health halfway down. That was, that was awesome. I will come back to this. It will happen. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I hope, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching.